Tell me when it's action, okay? When it is action. Right! Welcome back to our humble little speed shed. I'm Drew, uh, maker of the Spin On These Fat Boy Wheels. Um, and today we're answering you guys' most frequently asked questions. What's the question? Uh, another question we get asked a lot are two types of question related to disc braking versus rim braking. Um, if you order a pair of our wheels today, you can order them with a disc hub set, and this disc hub set can be set up and can be ordered to work with a road bike with quick release axles and with rim braking, and it can be also used in a through axle or quick release disc braking bike with the addition of a brake rotor to the hub. So these are very versatile wheels. You can ride them in road bikes and in mountain bikes, 29ers, in um, cross bikes, uh, in disc braking bikes of all kinds, gravel bikes, adventure bikes, and so on. Um, and you take the rotors off and you can put them back in a road bike, traditional road bike with rim brakes. If you've ordered what we call a road build, um, or you already have a pair of our road wheels, that's a, that's a hub that looks like that at the front. And there's no way you can mount a disc rotor on this type of hub. So you cannot convert a road build, uh, either old or new, to disc braking. Uh, it has to be ridden on a quick release road bike and it has to be ridden with rim brakes. Okay, but if you have more than one type of bike uh, and you want to order one pair of wheels that you can use in a disc braking and a road bike, then order your wheels with our disc brake hub set. <laughs> Change the axle. You don't have, just, to. You don't have to. So all you need to do is remove the, the rotor. Room. If you have the rotor on, then it would probably yeah, rub the frame. Foul. Or no, it would rub that, and, and yeah, it would, yeah. well, it wouldn't just rub it. It would it would <laughs> cut a, <laughs> cut one of your fork legs yeah, off. So yeah. so take that out, and it becomes a road wheel, That's and you sick. can brake on this surface as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, in fact, this is one of the things that I wanted to talk about today, is that um, you know a lot more and more riders right have got a road bike and then they're thinking about their next road bike should I go disc or not yeah. and then they're thinking oh but all my best wheels don't work yeah. if if someone orders from us a disc hub build mm -hmm. they've got the best of both worlds because they can yeah. use this in a road bike and a disc bike um, so one pair of wheels multi bike yeah. um, some people said to me so but how does that that means this is not a disc rim then well it's it's not it's a it's a do anything rim it's an aerodynamic rim and it's the best rim we know how to make. Yeah. And people say, oh, but surely then, uh, you know, a disc wheel should have a, you know, this is overbuilt for braking, right? Yeah. Well, the fact is that this part of the rim is really important for stiffness. Yeah. And I don't care if you tell me that you're not gonna brake here, I still make it this thick, yeah. because yeah. this is the biggest factor, along with the width, that determines how the tire is controlled. Yeah. So if you make this bit with less material, i.e. lighter, right? Then you lose the stiffness here. Yeah. If you lose the stiffness here, you need more air pressure, yeah, yeah. and then you get a worse ride. So there's no difference from my point of view whether this is going to be used for disc braking or for rim braking. And you it's want to get same... it strong as well to make it stand the load of the exactly. You have that Chinese rims. Like exactly, and the and you flex as well. So yeah, this this yeah. is so so to ma if I wanted to make this as a disc only wheel, the only thing I might change is make the graphics a bit bigger. But I yeah. wouldn't change how this rim is structured. Because right. that would affect how good it rides and how strong it is. But the point is that this is a full braking zone. So, yeah. And it's a really good braking zone. So you can do this, you can swap this all your bikes. Okay, that's cool. 